Hey everybody, this is Matt Carroll. I have got some cool stuff about onboarding for you. Um, if you are not using power forms or don't know what they are, prepare for your life to be changed forever. <laughs> so this is DocuSign. Um, and we use we have been using templates in DocuSign to send out to uh, recruits uh, you know, as we're in Zoom calls with them or whatever, and then they sign it and get back to us. Um, we haven't had very good success with them calling us back to go through the documents or, you know, my agent services person getting it to them during our Zoom meetings, so we can go through it right away. So we're trying to figure out how to speed that process up and, and capture that, um, you know, recruit while we're in the meeting with them. So, um, you know, have them sign paperwork while we're there and can explain it and go through it. So um, this is a solution um, that we came up with. I think it's, it's going to be great. So <clears throat> I'll show you. So our templates, you get a templates in DocuSign. And let's just, so this is our onboarding package here at Kelly Williams Palmetto. So this is our template. And, you know, if you haven't set up templates, that's a, a video for a different time. I can just show you real quick what a template looks like. Um, this is our, our onboarding package, you know, or some of our documents. You can assign roles. So we have agent, we leave the name blank um, so that that can be filled in later on in the template. You know, my name is always the same with my information. We can write a standard message down here. Um, and then we leave the agent username like this so that it can be filled in later by whoever that is. Once we put that in up here, that populates down here. So um, go next. So you would put your whatever documents you have in there, and then you just go through and format it just like a regular um, document would in, in uh, DocuSign. So you go through, you put all your fields in, everything else. All right. So that's what that looks like. That's a template. So hopefully, uh, you've done that or you'll, you'll know how to do that. If not, I can make another video for you. So once you've made that template, so this is that template, you can go into it and hit create power form. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because it is going to pull in the stuff from our template. So I don't need anything to be in there. Um, onboarding package, agent username, everything looks good. I just hit create. And that makes a URL. This URL is a living URL that will be good forever. So we can take this URL, make a short link to it, put it on our website if we want to, um, whatever we might do. So for us, it's awesome um, because instead of me having to worry about agent services sending a, a onboarding package to somebody when they're ready to commit and, and move forward, I can just say, hey, go to our website, click this link, pull it up, share your screen with me on a Zoom meeting. I can share my link with them um, in the chat if I need to. If you don't have a website, you can do that. And we can have multiple power forms for whatever we want to use. So we can have a power form for our, our onboarding. We can have a power form for um, the binding sponsorship agreement. We can have things for our um, MLS association and our, our realtor association. We're members of multiple realtor associations. So some agents join us and want to join just one. Some want to join two. Some want to join all three of them, four of them, five of them, whatever it is. We have a bunch of different MLSs. And so this just makes it so we don't have to customize the package for each one of them, put all the documents together, template it out, and then send them an email. It makes it so we can just put a link on a website. That link will be good forever. Um, and they can, and as we're going through, I can say, okay, so click the main link for onboarding, go through, fill that out. Here's what all this means. Sign it. We're good. Go click this next link. Um, that's for your realtor association sign up. So go, you know, do that one and then do the MLS and then, oh, you want to join the other realtor station? Okay, click that one and we'll go that way. So that's awesome, um, and it will help a bunch. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to copy that link. We'll make a shorter link, obviously, eventually. But I'm just going to paste that link in. So this, this would be like if I clicked on a link on our website, it takes you right here. So um, Testy Testerton is my friend that I do all of my uh, testing with. And let's see, his email address is testytesterton at gmail. So I'm going to fill that out. As soon as I hit this begin signing button, or as soon as the, the recruit hits the beginning signing button, that will send an email to whoever has this power form, whoever made the link, whether you have that in your agent services account or your team leader account or whichever account, um, you'll get an email saying this person has started the process. So boom, email is going to come through in a second. And then here you go. We're going to be on our um, power form. So this is just a website that we that it pulls up that we go to. 
that message that was in our template is right up here. We can read the whole message if we want to. And we just say, yep, we're good. Um, I had already agreed to do business electronically earlier. Normally there'd be a little checkbox there where you agree to do business electronically, standard DocuSign thing. And then here's our, it already has the agent name and populated for us. And then we'd go through and email is already populated. So we go through and have to fill all these things out. So this is our, this is our onboarding package. Everybody has their own onboarding package, I'm sure. So you fill these out, you go through and recruit goes through and initials these, um, gets through it all. Fills all their information out, agrees to our terms, whatever. And so eventually once everything's filled out and, and done, they would just hit finish. And then those documents come back to us via email. And we send those back out to agent services or MCA or whoever needs to take the next step in the process. Um, so it's, it's essentially, it works the same on our end as emailing the documents out to people. It's just way easier than having to send an email each time somebody needs something. The link's already there. Just go tell them to click that link and go for it. So that is what a power form looks like. Hopefully that will save you guys a bunch of time um, and help you capture some more recruits. Happy recruiting.